Hello, Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms Society family. Uh, we miss you. This is Steve Lipset, music director of the BB and B Orchestra. Uh, we miss you enormously. Um, orchestra musicians, of course, what we love to do most is uh, make music with our colleagues for our friends in the audience. So a pandemic shutdown is a very tough time for classical musicians and probably music lovers as well. Uh, until it's safe to return to Faneuil Hall, we'd like to share occasional video snippets with you. Uh, I'm actually fixing up my backyard and, and uh, hope to organize some chamber music and maybe we'll, we'll call it live from Studio 3B um, if I can get it done before the snow flies. Meanwhile, I thought I'd play you some Bach on the keyboard. Um, it's a very familiar Bach prelude. Your kids or grandkids may have studied it. And um, I thought I would just use it to show a little bit about how rhythmic figuration and repetition in the hands of a master composer can really create a, an emotional, psychological, or atmospheric response in us, the listeners, even if you can't put it into words. So Bach's piece, Bach could have written this. sort of chorale. It's lovely. He could have written a kind of a minuet, a light dance in three. He could have, um, using the same spacing, the same arpeggiation, which is the harpification, arpeggiata is to, to harpify, to break up a chord instead of that, play that. If he, he could have kept that and made it square, so instead of the, the three, three, four waltz like minuet, he could have kept it in a square, four, four rhythm. with that little suspension of time where nothing really happens except the sound continues. And instead, of course, what he did is he, he repeated the pattern completely to fill in the time. Now, it's possible because he wrote the piece for harpsichord or cembalo, which didn't resonate the way a modern uh, baby grand piano will, that he just did it to keep the sound in the air. But I think uh, you'll see that it, it has a, a very interesting effect on the listener. So here's Bach's Prelude in C major. Thank you. 
So, of course, it would be followed by a fugue, well, it's, uh, it's preludes and fugues, uh, but I would have had to take the second year of piano lessons in order to play the fugue for you. So, I'll see you next time. I hope you're all well and safe, wearing your masks, washing your hands, um, and as soon as it's safe to return to Faneuil Hall, we will welcome you there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.